Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a rabbit Italian style so I can keep the ingredients. Okay, so for ingredients, we're going to need a one piece of rabbit. It's about two pounds, already quarters, okay? Then uh, we're going to need some bell peppers, one of each, a half an onion, a slice, and a half moon. And also we're going to need about four to five uh, plum tomatoes or tomatoes, or you can use uh, tomatoes in a can, either or. So my celery, this is two ribs, cut them in slice, okay? Two carrots, same thing, cut them in half and then cut them in uh, slices. About three to four uh, garlic cloves, slice. So my fresh herbs, we're gonna need uh, oregano, rosemary, and thyme. If you don't have fresh, you can always use the dry ones, or you can use the mix of the Italian uh, seasoning which has the same uh, herbs and this one has some uh, chili flakes so that's gonna be optional we can, we're gonna use this one to season our rabbit and then we're gonna need some uh, Italian sausage about four links this is gonna be optional if you want this is just to make the dish you know, a little bit richer and uh, more flavorful and also some uh, shiitake mushrooms about four ounces, five and about two ounces of the baby porabellos or creminis and one cup of the white wine. So let me give me the next step. Okay, we're gonna need a big saucepan or pot with the olive oil or a vegetable oil. And we're gonna sear our rabbit or meat, okay? So we're gonna put first the thighs, the legs, because they're a thicker, okay? We're gonna sear them all, while, all around. So when this one is ready, we're gonna come back and show you the next step. Okay, now that we have our rabbit uh, seared from both sides, we just want it lightly seared, not too dark. Because we're going to cook it later more, okay? So we don't want our meat to be dry. And also we're going to start our sauce, okay? So what we're going to do now, we're going to cook our bell peppers and onions, okay? We're going to start making our sauce. We're going to add the garlic and we're going to cook this for about a couple more minutes and I'm going to come back and show you the next step. Now we're going to add the carrots, the celery and the fresh herbs, okay? So we're going to put about a few springs, you know, of each and uh, we're just gonna let them cook for about a couple more minutes and then we're gonna come back and add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so what I did, I removed the vegetables and uh, we're gonna cook our sausage, okay? For about two minutes or until they're golden brown. And uh, we're gonna come back and add the rest of the ingredients back to the pot, add the tomatoes, and then uh, we're gonna add the white wine and some uh, water so we can make our sauce. Okay, so what I did, after they're golden brown, I put the tomatoes and the mushrooms, okay? So now we're gonna cook them for about three minutes until the tomatoes, you know, start uh, getting a little bit looser. And then we're gonna come back and show you the next step. Okay, so what I did, I put the rabbit back and add the white wine, okay? And we're gonna let cook the wine for about two minutes. And also, we're gonna put our vegetables back. Okay, we're gonna cover our rabbit with the vegetables, like this. Right? And then, we're gonna add some water. It's gonna be about one liter. We're gonna cover it, a little salt pepper to taste, and then uh, we're gonna come back and show you the final dish. Okay, so as soon as it starts boiling, you know, it's gonna start losing all the toxins. So we're gonna remove that, okay? All this little foam on top. Just like every other sauce or stock or soup or ragu, whatever we're making, we need to remove that, okay? And then uh, we're gonna just cover it and lower our heat to medium, okay? We're gonna let it cook for about half an hour in total. Then we're gonna come back and check it and serve it. Okay, so it passed already about 45 minutes or so. You can leave it up to an hour, and this is ready. 
How do you know that rabbit is ready? You're gonna check your meat on the ties. Okay, see? It's ready. So now, <clears throat> we're gonna serve it with some polenta. I got some polenta over here. If you need a recipe for polenta, <clears throat> it's in my channel under uh, polenta. So I'm gonna show you how to make the polenta. And uh, now I'm gonna serve it. And uh, just give me about a few more minutes so I can serve this. Okay, so this is my final presentation on the rabbit with the polenta, Italian style. So hopefully you guys like this video. And uh, I did uh, two videos in for one shot. So I did the rabbit and the polenta. So hopefully you guys like these videos. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook. And share my videos. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Enjoy.